Hi there everyone. I'm Shelby Myers with the Proxton News Now update. Mobile police partnering up with the ABC to crack down on alcohol sales to minors. And these three stores were busted for selling to underage kids. You've got the Circle K on Airport, a Chevron on University, and the Dollar General on Azalea. Alabama's unemployment rate continuing to head in the right direction as more and more businesses are fully reopening. The jobless rate dropping from 3.6% in April to 3.4 in May. That's down more than 50% from a year ago when nearly 175,000 were out of work. This month, that number just 79,000. A reminder that all federal pandemic unemployment assistance programs in Alabama do end tomorrow. More than 80% of the people receiving unemployment checks have been receiving that additional $300 benefit. With the program ending, the state's maximum weekly unemployment benefit will once again be $275. Mississippi has collected more than $129 million from the state lottery during the first 11 months of the budget year. Get this, just last month alone, the state collected nearly 14 million bucks from the games. State law says that the first 80 million collected from the lottery each year goes to roads and bridges. After that, the money goes to education. Mississippi legislators voted in 2018 to create a lottery and the first tickets were sold in November of 2019. All right, let's take a close look at the situation with the tropics with us getting the tropical impacts from either a disturbance or an organized storm overnight tonight. We're looking at a tropical storm warning in effect for tonight and Saturday. Looks like we're going to see tropical storm force conditions here. Here's potential tropical cyclone number three as of the four o'clock advisory. Still not a tropical storm, but it's starting to have that look to it here. A lot of rain and certainly a lot of wind. Wind's already up to 45 miles an hour, so if it gets a name, it's going to probably we have about the same impacts if it doesn't get a name. We're out here on the eastern side of the circulation. We expect the center to move into southeastern Louisiana and into southeastern Mississippi. As a result, that's going to drag a lot of wind and rain our way for tonight and tomorrow. We could see six to 10 inches of rain through Monday. This is going to be a significant rain maker. Also, tides running one to three feet above normal. Dangerous rip currents at the beach is likely to have double red flags going there and some coastal flooding. Let's take a look at the the rain totals that we're expecting. This is what the model is printing out for potential rain. You see a lot of spots up around five inches with some isolated higher totals to the west. The Futurecast modeling showing that uh, things are going to be real active around here Saturday afternoon and into Saturday night. Then by Sunday, the circulation will lift to the north. We we'll still have a trailing band of rain around here on Sunday, so it's still active with showers, but we'll see lower rain chances by Sunday than what we'll see by comparison on Saturday. Definitely a wet weekend for our Father's Day weekend. Here's your forecast. A high rain chances on Saturday, lower to moderate rain chances there on Sunday at 60%. Still good chances next week as a front slides into the region. Thanks for joining us. Have a, a good weekend and try and stay dry. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 10.